Hi, I'm Sydney. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple yet super efficient dust collecting system, which is also known as a dust separator. I'm going to use a rigid shop vac along with the dust stopper, two five gallon buckets, and some casters. With space constraint, I want the system to be as minimalist as possible. At the same time, I do want it to have a sturdy base so that I can freely wheel it around the garage. This is not the best way to make a box or a drawer. I'm using this method simply because of the finished wood that I was using and the Craig screws were the only hardware I had at the time. Here I'm using 3 inch casters, but you can certainly go smaller. I would rather not have to put a piece of wood in between the caster and the cart, but I didn't have any shorter screws at the time, and the spacer accommodates the length of the screws that I was using. In keeping everything minimal, I decided to remove unnecessary parts from the vacuum. Here I'm removing the accessory caddy that I never used. There was no point in keeping the old casters, so I removed those also. I have both the dust stopper and the dust deputy in my shop, and in my opinion, they both functionally comparable. Uh, I don't see a noticeable difference between the two. The good news is that the dust stopper will cost you a whole lot less than the dust deputy. I've had this shop vac for about 3 years now, and this is actually the very first time that I replaced the filter for it. I figure now is as good a time as any to give it a fresh start with the new dust collecting system. For this particular system, I want to be able to remove the buckets easily. So in order to do that, I use two gallon buckets, one of which it will be permanently mounted onto uh, the vacuum. So I use the top of the vacuum to trace the existing holds onto the bottom of the first bucket. This orange bucket is going to be permanently mounted onto the vacuum using the existing screws that I took off earlier. I'm just adding in some washers to hold the bucket in place better. This mounted bucket is the receptacle for the removable white bucket that I'm putting in. Notice that the handle for the white bucket is still intact. This will allow me to easily remove the bucket and empty the dust when needed. To accommodate for the height of the dust collecting system and the hose that came with the dust stopper, I'm using a 2x2 two two flexible PVC fitting to attach the hose to the dust stopper. Then I'm going to use the elbow that came with the dust stopper to attach the hose to the vacuum. To fasten the system onto the cart since the vacuum sits inside the cart tightly. The half circle cut out underneath the hose port also actually keeps the system from moving side to side inside the cart. The accessory I'm adding is a muffler. I use it to cut down the high pitched sounds that the vacuum produces when running. Notice that I didn't add anything to keep the hose in place. All I have to do is wrap it around the system and tuck the end into the cart. And that's it! I can wheel it around, drag it with me, and push it away, and everything will pretty much stay inside the cart. Here is the fun part. So stick around if you want to see how well the dust stopper works in separating large particles from fine dust.
Now, I don't think I would ever have to vacuum a pile of dust such as this on a normal usage, but since this is a test, I am pushing it to the max. I've also noticed that in using the system, the airflow from the vacuum is much stronger than it was when it was just the vacuum by itself. I actually have three different dust collecting systems inside my garage. I prefer it that way instead of just a primary one because I didn't want to have to run hoses all over the place. As you can see underneath my workbench, there is a dust collecting system. That particular one, I'm also using a dust stopper just because it's low profile and it sits underneath the bench perfectly. The other one, I use a dust deputy and that one is underneath my sander and my drill press. As you can see, there is very little fine dust inside the vacuum container and the dust stopper is actually just a dust separator so it is not going to be able to filter out everything all the time. It's important to note that I did not tighten down the PPC flexible fitting completely before I ran the vacuum do this test. So it could explain why there is a lot more fine dust inside the vacuum container. In comparing this one with the one underneath the workbench, that one does a better job of retaining the dust inside the 5 gallon container simply because I did a better job of tightening everything down. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment below whether you like the bill, what you think of it, and what you think of this voiceover. Lastly, if you're interested in the workbench behind me, please go check out some of the videos that I posted about it.